Let's take a look how we can build a wizard or a witch head in ZBrush really, really quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a cone. If I turn on my polyframe, this is the topology that we have. The first thing I'm going to do is go to geometry, go to Z remesher. I'm going to turn half on and just hit Z remesh. All right, I'm going to get something like this. Next, I'm going to flip the head upside down, grab something like my inflate brush. I'm going to turn it into sub and I'm just going to simply press right in the middle, kind of pushing the bottom towards the top. Now I have something like this. Next, let me go to the side and I want to use this border right here to extrude out the sides of the hat. Now, because my intention is to make a cute stylized hat, I don't really want this border to be so thin. So I want to adjust this edge right here. For that, I'm going to go to Z Modeler, hover over this edge, press spacebar, go to delete, choose edge loop complete and just simply delete this entire edge. If I want to adjust the thickness up here, I can of course press spacebar. I can go to slide leave it on edge loop complete and I can slide this around if I wanted to but I'm pretty happy with something like this next I'm gonna press spacebar go to scale and I'm just gonna scale this edge right here pointing down just a little bit let's hover over polygon press spacebar go to extrude poly loop let's grab this entire loop and just literally pull this down all right very quickly we're gonna get something that looks like a wizard or a witch hat if I wanted to add some detail up here once again I can go to slide just maybe slide this up just a little bit go into extrude let's do poly loop this time let's just extrude this section right here i'm going to keep an eye on my gizmo to see which way my hat is facing and now if i wanted to i can also turn the fill on in my polyframe press alt select these faces here and let's just simply extrude them as well i'm going to go to extrude single poly and just pull this out hover over this one press spacebar go to inset let me just insert this in and then go to extrude single poly and just push it in and take a look very quickly we created some fun detail i'm going to jump out of the poly frame the final thing i want to add a little bit of a height on top and bend my head so to do that i'm going to go on the side view let's jump out of the perspective view simply go to move go into the gears icon go to bend curve if we needed to we can take this red one and adjust the axes to be vertical let's go back to the side we can also adjust the resolution of these dots. I'm going to go with something like six. And now I can take these points up here and just start bending them towards something that I want. Maybe I want to maybe increase the height and also bend it a little bit. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to go back into the gear and just say accept. All right, and take a look very quickly. We created a low poly good looking hat in ZBrush.